Hey y'all, welcome to Cat's Hobby Corner. Hey y'all, so I'm going to be making bell pepper seasoning today. And the reason why I'm making it into a season was one, I got inspired by Miss Renee a month or so ago uh, when she was doing her spice challenge. But a lot of times when I get bell peppers, maybe I don't use them fast enough. I cook, I do a lot of cooking. And I tend to use a lot of bell peppers in my cooking, but sometimes they come from the store and I don't know how long they've been sitting there and, you know, they may start trying to mold on me, you know, or get a spot on them or something. So I'm figuring the best way for me to uh, increase the longevity of my bell peppers is um, to dehydrate them, grind them up and make them into powder. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Just trying to find ways that I don't have to lose um, the use of food because, you know, it was already dated when it came from the store. So it is what it is. And although these are uh, bell peppers from the store, I hope that by the time my bell peppers get up to where I can harvest them, that's definitely what I'm planning on doing. So I'll keep y'all in the loop and see what the process is. Hey y'all, so I wanted to make me some bell pepper uh, seasoning and I didn't want to wait for my bell peppers to get done so I grabbed some bell peppers from the local store. I am dicing them up now. I have already begun layering them onto the dehydrator and I am intending on putting us this on 125 and it's going to have to be in the dehydrator anywhere from 6 to maybe 11 hours. So. I'll come back and let y'all see everything once we um, get everything filled up and get ready to turn it on. All right, guys, so we have all five tiers full of sliced and diced bell peppers. And now we are going to get this started. We didn't have enough room for the red one, but hey, we're good. We've got majority. I'm going to set it for 125. Let me get the lid. All right. All right, so we got the lid on. We're gonna set this for 125 for 11 hours. Well, let's do it for nine hours just to see. So nine, nine hours. And we're gonna set the temperature for 125. 122, that should be good. And we're gonna start. All right, we're on. So I'll come back, hopefully we'll get our dehydrated bell peppers and we'll be able to make us some bell pepper seasoning. All right guys, so we got our bell peppers dried out enough <laughs> I can pick it up. Dry it out enough where we can put them in the grinder. And we are putting them in the grinder. And we're going to be making our bell pepper um, seasoning. And I've got, this is the first tray. I've got four more trays to go. back once I get all this done. Gonna get it as, as thin down as possible. Let's check it. Okay. It's definitely getting down to a powder. So I am pleased. I'm gonna finish adding these other layers in here and see how much we get. Check that out. Yep. 
powder is really doing what we need it to do. So I'm going to get everything cleaned out and put in my seasoning packet, well, one of my jars. All right, so I've got my jar. All right, guys, so basically we ended up, let's see, we did, it's four bell peppers in a pack. So we did uh, seven bell peppers in our dehydrator, and we ground them all down, and we got one jar and a little, and about a fourth. I say about an eighth, a jar and an eighth of powder. And it's different colors, guys, because I did red, I did yellow, I did orange, and I did green bell peppers and this is what it what it turned out to be but it is really amazing how um it's really amazing how um how 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 um thick it is so yeah i expect that it's going to go take us a long way i really like using bell pepper when i do my baking so thanks for watching guys Hey guys, thanks for visiting Cat's Hobby Corner. Be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button so you'll get the content as we put up new videos. The channel's growing and it's all because of you. Thanks again.